Okay, here's the addition of dissimilar fractions. So we are to begin with examining the fraction. So since 4 fifth plus 3 six are dissimilar fractions, we need to convert them to similar fractions first. Always remember that when you add and subtract fractions, all you have to do is to add the numerators and just copy the denominator. So we cannot do that because the two fractions are dissimilar ones. So we are to begin with finding the least common denominator of these two fractions. So what are we going to do in order for us to find the LCD? So all you have to do is to think of a product of 5 which is also a product of 6. And there are lots of product of 5 which are also a product of 6. What are we going to find is the least product of 5 which is also a product of 6. And that is 30. If you cannot do the mental mathematics in finding the LCM, you may skip count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Then skip count by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So again, 30 is a product of 5 and at the same time a product of 6. So now, for you to convert these dissimilar fractions to similar ones, divide this LCD with the old denominator. 30 divided by 5 equals 6 times 4, that is equals to 24. Then 30 divided by 6, the answer is 5 times 3. 5 times 3, the answer is 15. Okay, now you have 24 plus 15, the answer is 39. Over again, when you add fractions, you just have to add the numerators and just copy the denominator. That is 30. Now, looking at your answer, you got a numerator which is greater than your denominator. Therefore, this is an improper fraction. When you will be dealing with improper fraction as your sum or difference, you have to convert this into a mixed number. How? So just do like this. How many 30 can I get from 39? So, pila ka 30 ang ako ang makuha gikan sa 30 inoy B. So, of course, there is only one 30. So, 1 will be your whole number. And what will be left with 39 after you get 30 from it will be your, will be your new numerator. So, Tilayin habilin sa 30, ino yung ko ang 30, that is 9. So your numerator is 9. Then copy the denominator. Okay, but before you finalize your answer, my dear students, you have to examine first your fraction. You have a numerator which is 9 and a denominator which is 30. Looking at this, you think or you examine whether na by ma divide sa 39 nga pwedeng ma divide sa 30 if there is then you you have to convert this to the lowest term so when you convert fraction or mixed number to lowest term ayaw kalimot o kopyaha ang whole number then go back to the fraction unsa may ma divide sa 9 nga pwede sa 30 or find the gcf or the greatest common factor meaning Ang ita kag factor sa 9, nga factor sa 30. So that is 3. So 9 divided by 3, you get 3. 9 divided by 3, then 30 divided by 3. That is 10. So your answer is 1 and 3 tenths. What about subtracting mixed numbers? Okay, what are we going to do? Just like in addition, just copy first the whole numbers. Then prepare for the finding of LCD. So the denominators are 4 and 2. We cannot subtract immediately since they are dissimilar fractions. So what product of 4, which is also a product of 2? So if you can think of a number which is a product of 4 and at the same time a product of 2, skip count. 4, 
four eight four eight twelve sixteen twenty so in for number two skip copy to two four six eight ten twelve and so on so looking at your products of four and two the least common multiple or the least common product is four therefore you're going to use four as your least common denominator so find the new numerator divide four divided by four equals one times three the answer is three four divided by two the answer is two times one the answer is two so subtract whole number to whole number numerator to numerator 3 minus 2 the answer is 1 3 minus 2 for the numerators the answer is 1 over 4 so there is no number that can be divided by or there's a number but 1 and 1 fourth is already the lowest term so there. I have here another example which is subtraction of dissimilar fraction so what are we going to do when we subtract the similar fraction so the same process with the addition of fractions that we are to begin with converting the dissimilar fraction to similar fraction so we are going to make this similar fractions so we need to find the least common denominator so if you cannot do the mental mathematics of finding the LCD just try to do the easiest way to find the LCD or the LCM by skip counting 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 4. You have 4. Then skip count by 4, I mean. Then 4 next to 4, 8, sorry, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. So Pangitaa ang pinakagamay nga numero nga naa sa 6 nga naa sa 4 and that is 12. So you, you use 12 as your least common denominator. So for you to find the numerators of these similar fractions, so you have to divide 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. Then times 5, the answer is 10. Okay. 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3 times 1, that is 3. So subtract 10 minus 3, the answer is 7. Then again, the same process or the same procedure with the addition of fraction that you just have to copy the denominator. Okay, so you will have 7 over 12. But before you finalize your answer again, I want you to examine the difference. 7 over 12. Is there a number that can be divided by 7, which can also be divided with 12? If there is none, then 7 twelves is your final answer. How about if we are subtracting fractions or mixed numbers like this, 5 and 1 sixth minus 2 and 3 fourths? So when you will be subtracting fractions, so you have to examine first the denominators. So still they are different denominators, so we need to convert them to similar fractions. Copy the whole number again, then prepare for the finding of LCD. So what product, what is the product of 6, which is also a product of 4? The least product or what is the LCM of 6 and 4 so to those who can think or do the finding the LCM mentally the answer is 12 if you can't do it mentally then there's no problem all, all you have to do is just skip count by 6 and skip count by 4 so 6 12 18 24 30 36 then another is skip count by 4 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So there are a lot of common multiple in 6 and 4. But we are looking for the least. So the answer is 12. Therefore, 12 is our least common denominator. So for us to find the numerator, divide 12 divided by 6. The answer is 2 times 1. 
So to 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3 times 3 equals 9. So looking at your similar fractions, you have now 5 and 2 twelves minus 2 and 9 twelves. Therefore, again, do not forget to subtract whole number to whole number and numerator to numerator. So you will have 5 minus 2, the answer is 3. 2 minus 9. So can you get 9 from 2? We cannot. Therefore, we have to regroup. Since we have here a whole number 5, so you will have 2 borrow 1 from 5. 5 will become 4. And the 1 here will be combined with 2 12s. Okay? You borrow from 5. 5 becomes 4. Ang 1 yung mong gihuwam, ato ang i-combine sa 2 over 12s. Okay? So how? So times plus only. 12 times 1. 12 times 1 equals 12, plus 2 equals 14. So you will now have 4 and 14 over 12, minus 2 and 9 over 12. So you may now subtract. 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. 14 minus 9, the answer is 5. Then just copy the denominator, which is 12. So you will have 2 and 5 twelves. I have here another example. And this is a mixed number and a fraction. So what are we going to do when we add mixed number and a fraction? So examine first the fractions 1 half and 3 fourths. So they are still the similar fraction. So we need to convert them to similar ones. So... Converting mixed number and a fraction to similar fraction, so you need to copy the whole number. Then, think of a number which is a product of 2, which is also a product of 4. The least product of 2, which is also a product of 4. So, the answer is 4. If you cannot think of a number... You may do the skip counting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Then 4, 6, uh, 4, 8, I mean 8, 12, 16, 20. So looking at the numbers, the common, the common multiple is 4. We also have 8, but we are going to use 4 because we are looking for the least common product. Therefore, you have 4 here. 4 divided by 2, the answer is... 2 times 1, the answer is 2. 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1 times 3 equals 3. So, you may now add. Add whole number to whole number, then numerator to numerator. You only have one whole number, so you just copy 2. Then add 2 plus 3, 5. Copy the denominator, which is 4. Looking at your answer, you have 2 and 5 fourths. You got a greater numerator compared to your denominator, so you need to regroup. So how many 4? How many 4 can we, can we get from 5? The answer is one, only 1, right? So since you already have with you your whole number, the 1 that you get, after you divide, 5 divided by 4 will be added to 2. So you will have 2 plus 1 equals 3. Unsay mahabilin sa 5, nagikuhaan ni mo 4. You have 1. So 1 will be your numerator. And copy the denominator. So you will have 3 and 1 fourths. So that is now your final answer. Another example in subtraction of mixed numbers with regrouping. So I have here 10 and 1 half minus 4 and 4 fifths. Okay, so again, they are the fractions are dissimilar, so we need to find the LCD. So 
In order for you to find the LCD, again, think of a product of 2, which is also a product of 5, na pinakagamay, and that is 10. So, do I have to skip count? I think, no. I think not, I mean. So, 10 divided by 2, the answer is 5 times 1 equals 5. So, 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2 times 4 8. So looking at your similar fractions, looking at your whole numbers, 10 minus 4, it's okay, but when you have 5 minus 8, you cannot take 8 from 5. So again, we need to regroup. So you have 10. Borrow 1 from 10, 10 becomes 9. Ang 1 atong ibaro atong ikombine sa 5 tenths. So how? Just convert this into improper fraction. So you will have 9 and 10 times 1 equals 10 plus 5. You have 15 over 10 minus 4 and 8 over 10. So you will have 9 minus 4. The answer is 5. 15 minus 8. The answer is 7 over 10. So 5 and 7 tenths is the final answer. What if the fractions or the numbers or the expressions that we are going to add are both mixed numbers? So same, we are to begin with converting the dissimilar fractions to similar fractions. So you have to prepare for the finding of the LCD. When you, before you find the LCD, copy first the whole number. That is, copy 3, then copy 1 then prepare a fraction bar so that it will be easier for you to perform the solution. So you will have one fifth plus uh, three and one fifth plus one and two fourths. So again, when you find the LCD, think of a product of five, which is also a product of four. That is 20. If you can think of a number, which is a product of 5 and a product of 4. Again, do the skip counting. 5, 4, I know 5, 10, 5, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Then skip count by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay, now I want you to find the least common product of 5 and 4. That is 20. So that's the reason why I have here 20. Okay, so find the numerator. How? 20 divided by 5, 4. Multiply it to 1, you have 4. 20 divided by 4, that is 5. Multiply it to 2, so 5 times 2 equals 10. Now, you have a similar fractions. Again, add whole number to whole number, numerator to numerator. So 3 plus 1, the answer is 4. 4 plus 10, the answer is 14. Then, copy the denominator. So you will have 4 and 14 over 20. Okay? So before you are going to finalize your answer, just examine the fraction. So numerator smaller than the denominator therefore therefore all is well now i want you to examine again is there a number which can be divided with 14 that can also be divided by 20 or na by numero nga divide sa 14 nga pwede sa 20 if there is then your fraction can still be reduced to lowest term so when you reduce a mixed number to lowest term you need to copy the whole number first before reducing it. So what number is that? Nga pwedeng ma-divide sa 14, nga pwede sa 20. That is 2. 14 divided by 2, the answer is 7. Then 20 divided by 2, the answer is 10. So your final answer is 4 and 7 over 10.